Hello, my name is Michael Bolden. I'm the founder and executive director of the 10th Amendment Center. June 25th, 2012. It's hard to believe this date is actually here. Six years ago today, the idea for this organization, the 10th Amendment Center, was born. The very next day, I registered our domain, 10thamendmentcenter.com, and things have looked up for this website, now a full-fledged organization, ever since. But even though I'm the type of person who always thinks in real big picture mode, in 2006 I had no idea where this would lead. I wasn't thinking about building a movement or publishing an important educational book on the Constitution or releasing a documentary film or producing a silver medallion or having people I've never met join us as members with some of those even volunteering to lead efforts locally too. No way. I would have laughed at such thoughts at the time. But that's where we are today and beyond. Thank you. Today, I cannot say this enough. Thank you. Without you reading this site, we'd still be a one-person blog or nothing at all. Without you pressing your state and local politicians to introduce and pass our model legislation we wouldn't have had the great legislative successes and news coverage we've received. Without you following us and sharing on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and elsewhere, we wouldn't be able to spread the word to others. And without you making gifts of your hard-earned income, we couldn't afford to do any of this. Look, it ain't cheap even though we operate on a far less than a shoestring budget. But bills need to be paid, and year in and year out, you keep helping us pay those bills. Our funding is minuscule compared to our reach, but you keep helping us move forward. And moving forward is the only thing we're going to continue doing. We are all pieces of a big puzzle that's had great effect. Each piece makes a difference, and this has led to great things. States and localities around the country have passed laws rejecting everything from real ID to NDAA indefinite detention to insurance mandates and more. And each year this effort is growing. Bottom line, without you taking action in some way, the Tenth Amendment Center wouldn't exist. And the Tenth Amendment movement as we now know it around the country wouldn't be happening. So again, thank you for every step you've taken, from reading and sharing to lobbying and donating. Every little bit is essential, and we're extremely grateful for all your support. Many people over the years have asked me, what the heck was I thinking when starting the TAC six years ago? Was I just taking a stab in the dark, maybe trying to fill some time? No, I was really trying to do something, something of value, something that would help another person. When the website first launched a few months later, I certainly wanted to, to make a difference in some way, but my goals were pretty low. I told myself that, the, uh, that you know, the time that I'd been spending on education and research and even technology it would all be worth it if I could just reach and open the eyes of just one person or maybe a small handful of people. Today, with dozens of contributing writers, dozens of state and local leaders, a book, a documentary, model legislation, news coverage, a radio show, a weekly video news webcast, and more, we've gone far beyond that modest initial goal. And uh, yeah, I think this is a good time to say it again. Thank you for being a part of this, for making it happen. Without you, it wouldn't exist. Now, I certainly wasn't always a tenther. In fact, I was probably the polar opposite of that for most of my early life and into my adult life. My government school education taught me that government was the solution to all our problems. I came into adulthood with views today that I can honestly describe as being communist. For example, I remember when there was a, an airline bailout many years ago. My initial thought was this. Well, you know, if the government is bailing these airlines out, well, then why don't they just own the airlines too? 
and it was common for me to think like that about various issues. I couldn't even fathom another option at the time, that instead of looking at the method or results of a government action, one just might first start by asking if that action should be happening at all. Laughable as it may seem today, back then Michael Moore was my hero. Over the years, though, I learned, studied, and grew. I've read many great books, and I've had much more, you know, I've got a lot more reading and learning to do these days. Harry Brown taught me that government always grows, no matter who's in charge in Washington, D.C. LouRockwell.com taught me that politicians are dangerous at every level of government. Downsize DC taught me that working together with like-minded people can make a difference. Normal and the ACLU taught me that state-level resistance to the federal government was actually effective, that saying no could change the practical effects of federal policy, even if that policy never changed in Washington, DC. Ideas, I believe, can change regimes. When you put all the pieces together, you have what we share today in the Tenth Amendment Center. We believe that we must first be educated on the proper role of government, but education alone isn't enough. Once we have the tools, we then need to take action to make them a reality. We don't want our opposition educating us like they have for so long, and we don't want to go to them to fix the problems they created either. These ideas are powerful, and they're catching on more and more each year. Thanks again to you and your support. The establishment on both the left and right, well, they know this, and they're not too happy about it either. Washington Post, Wall Street Journal, Esquire Magazine, Heritage, Southern Poverty Law Center, and others, they've all attacked us and the work that we do. We've been called fear mongers, lumped in with racists, derided as loons and more. But if we weren't having an effect, they wouldn't be wasting their time. The establishment opposes us because we are further from the status quo than virtually anything in the country. We aren't just some new set of opposition voices doing the same thing as every other organization. We aren't just complaining or participating in their rigged games either. We are pushing a total sea change of how people respond to abuses of power and liberty. Nullify now. Ask questions later. While this task might seem impossible or insurmountable, we know that our cause is just. For a guy who shares a birthday with Rosa Parks Day, I feel more and more honored and grateful each year to have been given this unbelievable opportunity to spend my life working for a great cause, resisting the monsters in D.C. and all their so-called laws in every peaceful way possible. While you and I might not know each other personally, I most certainly consider you a friend and part of my family in this historic struggle for liberty. I'm honored to be by your side. From each and every one of us here at the Tenth Amendment Center, today, on our six-year anniversary, and every day. Thank you.